hi guys welcome to my channel Wendy here if you're new here please subscribe if you're a returning subscriber thank you for watching so today's video is a video about perfume lines that I would collect like if I had all the money in the world I would buy all the perfumes from those perfume lines granted of course there are a few perfumes maybe that I might not be uh, true loves like I might just really like them or just tolerate them but most mostly the whole perfume line as it is is something that i wouldn't mind collecting so if you would like to hear the perfume lines that i am very much interested in and want to try from or have sampled and intend to buy more of from please keep watching so okay guys so we are in the peak of summer it is so hot the ring light i feel like the ring light uh, just projecting on my face and on my skin is just making it so much worse like the heat I have a fan here, but I, I, I was using it But due to sound issues, I decided to just switch it off so that my audio is very clear But don't mind me. Let me just have a cool drink by the side as I talk to you guys so the perfumes that I perfume lines that I would like to uh, collect that is I would buy more than just one the first one that I want to talk about is one that I haven't spoken about on this channel which is very weird because it it is a perfume line that I have been impressed with from the get-go and that is the Linta D line I smelled the first um, the original Linta D um when i visited a friend in lusaka that was when i was in western province she didn't like the perfume but i was in love with it it was really floral like it's a tuberous perfume the white florals are just well blended it just comes off very classy very sophisticated and comes off as a perfume that you can wear as a signature scent it also gives off those body vibes and i just say this is the perfume for me and i have had it on my want list forever i don't know why i haven't bought it because it just doesn't make sense i always see some like some deals here and there but it, it just never is the right time to buy a bottle whenever i see it so yeah the linter d line i want to try the rouge i want to try the intense i want the actual linter d i want the water toilet i want everything from that line it is actually good quality perfume because i wore that a perfume and i've had samples um like i've had two samples of linter d which i finished and um it's the time i smelled it the very first time i wore it in voice like for a full wear i was impressed the performance is amazing that is just one classy perfume line that is worth trying but then you just have to be a person who doesn't mind white florals if you like white florals then that is a line that i would advise you to try so that's the first one second up is a perfume that is currently on my top of my on the on the top of my want list to be honest and that is delina i had a travel sizes of delina and i ran through them guys that perfume is amazing it's like feminine yet sexy yet classy and sophisticated at the same time no guys if i had to have a signature sense then it would like for niche perfumes it would definitely be delina mm. okay so this is interesting so this is an actual wine okay so i'm trying this for the first time Yeah, so Delina is, it's a floral, uh, slightly fruity perfume and it also is a bit ambery as well. But you guys, I just, I love how that whole perfume has just been blended together. And from what I've heard from others, I haven't tried the La Rose or the Exclusive. So if I had to have all those Delinas, like all the perfumes from the all three from the Delina uh, line, I would wear the actual Delina as my signature, like I would wear it all year round. But 
granted i would really stick to spring like wearing it in spring and then the exclusive which is um supposed to be a more uh, winter fall version of the lina i would definitely wear in um, winter then the la rose i would wear in summer it's so hot right now and the performance on la rose from everything everyone has said is so good i really cannot stand perfumes that do not perform so it's a no-brainer i would definitely enjoy uh, that good performance from uh, la rose so if i am not going to get the actual delina i might get i don't even want a dupe i might get um a perfume from uh Lorraine Mazone, yeah, I might get some because they have a perfume that smells very, very similar to Delina, but then the price point is very similar. So, either way, and the quality is also just as good. So, either way, I just need to buy Delina, like, I just need to save for it. So, anyway, Delina with, with the hype, amazing perfume next up is a perfume line that is underrated and most people do not speak on it and it's more uh, it's on the affordable side of it and uh, that is uh kelvin klein euphoria the euphoria line i want all of them the only um downside to this line is that some of them have been discontinued like um deep euphoria i've been wanting deep, deep euphoria i've been wanting pure um pure gold um there's a girl here she reviews a lot of middle eastern perfumes i for actually what's her channel a fragrant world yes a fragrant world she really really loves uh, middle eastern perfumes and she i think our test is very similar she loves jimmy Chu, she loves um it's Itania, which is like poison girl like we have very similar tests in my opinion and she loves almost a lot of those so this line it's quality it's good quality for an affordable price anything euphoria that i could get my hands on i would definitely try so the euphoria line try it there's something for everyone there's one which is very very sweet this is not very sweet this is floral woody but if you can get if, just look for something there's definitely something for you in this line next up is the perfume line that i have recently started collecting and i i just i just need all of them to be honest but also from this line we have some of the perfumes that have been discontinued the perfume line is um the leper farm line this is one of the flankers this is a leper farm royal but i have used the original and finished it and i still i repurchased it i also intend to um try the leper farm lumia I just want everything from this line. I have also uh, tested out Le Parfum in white. I love that one as well. I have tested out um, Le Parfum Intense. I want it as well. Like I just need everything from this line. Like it's so good. They ha the flankers, to be honest, it has like this very DNA that I love. There's just something in that DNA that just works. They just keep changing the notes here and there. Like this is a rose uh, perfume. The original is a white floral perfume. And um, the Le Parfum in white, I've forgotten. It, it's not a bit similar to Jumichu. Yeah, so they are variations of the same perfume. That's what I would say. And I really just need this entire line so worth it they they're affordable and very good quality perfumes i feel i feel like elisa just makes high-end uh perfumes for a good um price and that's it so labor farm uh, line worth worth having next up is the scandal line so i have just the original scandal i have tried scandal by night which is very similar to this i have also sampled so scandal which i also liked and now there's so much hype about scandal le parfum because everyone is saying that smells very similar to hypnotic poison and i like hypnotic poison i've had a dupe of it so to be honest 
this whole line performance 10 out of 10 um longevity that is longevity projection 10 out of 10 uh the smell as well i know some people think it's juvenile but i love i love that sweet smell and if there's anything that smells like hypnotic uh, poison in the line but has the performance that hypnotic poison does not have i'm here for it so this whole line is something that i wouldn't mind collecting if i have the money i would definitely buy everything but as you know my collection is very curated so yeah there's that but otherwise i wouldn't mind having everything next up is the beverly hairline like i want i want everything as well the intense has been discontinued and it's so overpriced online like you can't find you can't find it for a good price yeah so um the intense is very similar to this one um then there's uh beverly edt which people say is just a bit lighter than this one because this is a beast mode perfume like it's so strong i am shocked there are people who say it doesn't perform as much on them but either way this performs amazing um there's also a uh, beverly hair elixir which i intend to also try yeah so this line worth having this is a fruity perfume it comes off very aromatic as well very airy um and also a bit synthetic but i don't mind that it smells like this blush pink very uh feminine as well to me so beverly hair line the hype is real and it is worth having next up i hate doing this because this is a discontinued line that is the nirvana amethyst um line uh nirvana actually not just nirvana amethyst the nirvana line from elizabeth and james nirvana black nirvana uh, white nirvana uh, bourbon i i sampled recently sampled uh nirvana bourbon um nirvana rose like there were two of them and i still loved them they were slightly different from this but they were definitely worth trying it's a good line i don't know why they discontinued it the packaging is amazing so unique these perfumes are so unique if uh they kept them and decided like if tom ford i feel like if tom ford uh, came up with these perfumes the price tag would be insane and people would still be going crazy for them so if you can get uh, your hands on any of these perfumes definitely try it especially if it's very affordable because i i know for sure that these whenever they are available they are um affordable so the Ravana line next up is uh the pink sugar line so this is not uh pink sugar the original this is pink sugar red velvet and to be honest i have been collecting this line the only one that i didn't like so much was creamy sunshine and i have a review of uh this line um and i'll leave it in the description i have reviewed this line and i love everything pink sugar even the creamy sunshine that i did not like i see how people who like yellow florals would like that but to be honest it's an affordable line which is worth trying especially if you're a gomon lover if you're a gomon lover try them if you've never tried anything from this line you can start with red velvet which is very similar to the original pink sugar or you can tr start with berry blast which is more fruity very fun and easygoing perfume so um pink sugar line yet another line from Burberry safe to say that I love the Burberry uh, perfumes and they are also a perfume like Burberry is a perfume house when it comes to fragrance which produces uh, high quality perfumes also for an affordable price so also from Burberry we have Burberry body line I have had the intense this is the EDP look where we are at this is like an a an everyday uh, perfume it's rose it's musky it's sort of fruity and sweet worth uh, having and this is something you can wear as a signature scent 
this is something you can wear as a signature scent the intense i would say is perfect for for winter and the edt people also say that one also performs well like everything in this line just grab whatever it is that is close to you which is beberry body and i i swear you will not be disappointed as long as you don't mind musky perfumes because this is um very musky it's also very uh, it's a bit it's a bit floral but to be honest it's very very musky so if you don't mind musk try uh beberry body next up it is the narciso line the cube line everything in this line is worth uh trying i have this very bad um habit of trying so many perfumes in the background and not talking about them but so, anyway i have tried the red cube I have tried the white cube. I really, really want the white cube. And this is Poudre also from that line. The red cube I really liked because it came off a bit fruity as well, like more fruitier than uh, this other one. The white cube is more floral. Um, they are all masky perfumes for sure, but it was more floral and very classy and very clean and posh. But this is more powdery and comfy and comforting so if you want um something from I, I would say there's something for everyone in this line so just look up the cubes and see what works for you i want to try the new crystal um perfume the reviews of, of fragrantic are just inviting me i just don't know why not so many people are talking about it they also have good performance to be honest the hype around these cubes is worth it so that's narciso um the narciso narciso rodriguez the narciso line last but not the least is the lib line i have tried uh lib the original and to be honest despite me not being a bit scared to try it like to wear it because i just feel like it would wear me that's a lavender like very straight up a floral perfume with lavender being the star of the show and it comes off very commanding you know what i mean like very commanding and corporate and classy posh um but i what i like is more more from that line is the lib intense because it's it mixes the lavender with some vanilla it just comes off very sweet yet keeping that dna of the lib the original lib and to be honest if there's anything from ysl that i have tried and been impressed with when it comes to performance when it comes to the scent quality and the creativity it's that lib line so to be to be honest just try everything from it i also want to try the lib le parfum uh, perfume because most people are saying it's good honey it's very similar to lib intense which i like so i'm for sure not going to have um a, a problem with the le parfum so the only thing is this with these perfumes because they're very similar like when um i don't mind it when uh a flanker comes out which has some part of the dna of the original but also has like some sort of difference from it because to be honest if they are very similar it also brings in uh, some redundancy but uh, perfume lines really try sometimes they go on and make something completely opposite from the original but if it's a good line it's a good line and to be honest if i had all the money in the world these are the 11 perfume lines that i would collect so thank you for watching guys let me know which perfume lines you think you would collect if you had all the money in the world uh what are your thoughts about all these perfumes and i'll see you in the next one